All right, today is day 81. I have an Envy. Also have a bunch of Jazzes still. And I have a couple Kiku and I have a couple um, Kanzi. Um, so I guess I'm going to work on this Jazz or Envy. Wow. I'm glad that Envy's kind of... I'm so glad that it got... That it's gotten bigger, but I just don't... I also feel like the late, like the bigger ones are kind of gross. No. Hmm. This is not bad. It's it's small. I think it has that nice envy flavor still. So I'm growing a mushroom right now. As a Christmas gift we got a couple, well I got a couple months ago. It's going to be a uh, pink oyster mushroom. Hmm. I'm kind of excited. Apparently if we share a picture of it, we also, they, they donate the kit, so... I wonder if they're still doing that with everything that's going on. Um, that would be that would be nice if they did. Hmm. That gave me an idea. I mean, with schools and all that stuff out, <clears throat> kids aren't going to be learning anything. Or, I mean, well, just kind of at home, distracting themselves or whatever their parents are having them do or letting them do. I think it'd be kind of cool if kids could get on in on, like, I don't know. I just wish there was like a group of people that could like send little science kits to two schools and the schools can send them to the kids and all that stuff. I don't know, that'd be kind of fun. In a way, I guess, keep, keep them learning. I don't know. feel really bad for the people that are harder hit with us, I mean, I feel like, I feel like I'm super lucky and privileged right now, and I don't, I don't like that feeling, I don't know, I've been thinking like, what can I do, what can I do outside of what I'm, what I'm doing right now, um, and just the day-to-day -day stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I've been wanting to like help out the community and all that in some way. I just don't know what I would do. <clears throat> or even if social distancing would allow me to do anything. Whatever's been going on, I've been getting really bad act like zits. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. 
there's been a lot of panic buying and I don't like we went to the grocery store for the first time in like a week like our local grocery store Like we normally go to like a we normally go to this big Kroger, and the Kroger that we go to oh my gosh we went there at like nine p.m. So we figured hey there might be fewer people there. Yeah, there might be fewer people there, and it was about it was about as busy as it would be at like. 5 or 6 p.m. And mind you, our Kroger closes at 10 with this, with some of these, um, I mean, in response to everything. So I go in, we go in about 9.20 because we, we really just, we want to just try to get stuff quickly and we also slept in a little bit. Um, like after I got off work, I, I went straight to bed um slept from 4 30 to 8 30 um anyway the we walk in we go to the produce section and all the potatoes are gone most of the onions are gone it's like everything is getting just everything is just getting picked like carved out um the meat section was completely cleared out not that, that really affects us at all but <clears throat> i don't know it's just it's just crazy um pasta section um <laughs> it's really funny because like all the pasta except for the lasagna shells were gone and like the the chickpea like the specialty pastas like the the bon uh, bonza and I'm thinking, gosh, you know, you can make lasagna soup with that, with, with those sheets of lasagna. You could eat the chickpea pasta to gain a good source of protein. It's like, just because it's a little more, I mean, just because it costs a little extra, I mean, you're getting quite a bit of protein out of that pasta. I don't know, it's just... <laughs> and then we went to the beans... <laughs> There was like these. There was like this lone set of the uh, the Heinz vegetarian baked beans. I was like, oh, people are afraid of the V word, so I guess, I guess we're just gonna grab these. It's like we're not afraid. And then the faux meat section. It's like even though the regular meat section was picked clean, all the fake meats, all the fake cheeses, all the all the little specialty goods, which I mean, granted they are a little more expensive. It looked like a normal day, like just nothing picked clean, just perfect. And I was like, wow, it's like, I'm glad that people aren't panic buying this stuff yet. <clears throat> I mean, we have enough to last us for a while. Um, and also if we, if someone needed help, I mean, we can help them out. I mean... Um, the cat litter was down to, like, the dregs, like, there was, like, this little bag, this little container of it. Um, eggs were gone. Eggs were entirely gone. Even though there was, like, a limit. <laughs> even, though, even though there was a limit, they were all gone. I bet you people, like, one of my friends was telling me that there was, like, an item limit of two where, where he is, and... These people go in, they shop, and then they go back in, and they, they're like, oh, well, it's, 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 one, it's limit two per trip. And I don't know, I think that's, 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 I don't know, people, people need to at least keep their humanity, people need to keep their sanity. Uh, people, I mean, if you have some semblance of yourself left after, I mean, during all this, try, try, to, try to hold on to it, hold on to it with, I mean, if you, I don't know. Um, it, 
And nobody was practicing social distancing where I was. So there was like, probably, I would say an easily 30, 40 people in that store. Which, I mean, it's about, it's, it's about normal. Um, there were people, there were at least people, at least a person in each aisle. Um, and people weren't doing any social distancing. Like, they were just like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk right by you, not give you six feet or anything. It's like, I don't know. The way people have reacted, the way people have behaved in this thing has been absolutely disappointing. And I think it's only going to get worse. I don't want it to get worse, but it's... I don't have faith that people are going to do the right thing. I mean... People know... I sound so pessimistic. And that's the thing about, like, I don't know, I really want to, like, try to help the community out, but... I also don't want the community to screw me over in the back. I just, it's like when I'm, I don't know, I want to do, I want to do what's best. I mean, first and foremost for my wife, my cats. I mean, obviously myself, I mean, just enough to like maintain things. Um, and then if I can help out other people that's that's good too i'm actually kind of shocked the uh the alcohol section at kroger was uh <laughs> it was pretty uh it was pretty well stocked um got some manischewitz <clears throat> uh because i like alcoholic grape juice when things are going not as planned uh we we're supposed to we we're actually supposed to go to I like won a work trip um, and we we're supposed to go out to out west and I guess from where everything's been going on I didn't get to do that but you know what I'm I'm glad that they canceled it I'm glad that they canceled far ahead enough and I mean, far enough ahead of time I'm glad the, I'm glad the way they've handled things I mean it's nice that they, it's nice that they it's nice that they they offered this trip to us and in recognition of how we do at work, but, um, it's like, I don't know, just, just that recognition enough is, is good, but, um, honestly, the way, the way I, the way I see it, like, they, they really, they don't really owe me anything, I mean, they just kind of, I don't know, I owe them, I owe them work when I'm there, and they owe me pay, just their normal pay, like whatever I get, and that's really all it should be. I mean, if they do anything else special, that's that's nice. Um, if I'm able to do anything that helps out them, I mean, that's what I really. I want to be useful. I don't I hate feeling useless. I absolutely hate feeling useless. Um, I don't want to become useless in this. Um, just thinking. I actually bought like a bushcraft book just just in case things really, really hit the fan. Um, I might as well have something that's non digital media that I can reference if things start getting ridiculous. Um, and there's like some type of civil unrest. I don't know. It's, Stuff like that can always happen, um, but it's always good to have those things. But I'm not gonna go out and buy like a gun. I'm not gonna go out and buy all these little. I'm not gonna buy like five months of rice and beans or whatever. Um, I don't know. Honestly, we're just we're just gonna the grocery store like once a week enough to get produce enough to kind of. We normally we hey, before everything started happening we would go like two or three four times a week because we just like to go shopping it's, it's kind of fun um something that's been nice about this is realizing that we don't really actually need to go out all that much um i don't know it's saving i feel like it's saved a lot of time and money 
even though we've made some initial dips in grocery trips um It's, I don't know, going in a grocery store like this, it, it, it's a little humbling, too. It's like, it's like, just seeing what people go out to grab, it's like, I feel really bad, because, like, I guess we do buy a lot of specialty stuff. I mean, we, we like to, we don't buy fancy clothing. I don't, I don't buy any, I don't buy a new, I don't have a new car. I have, I have a beater that I've been using for seven years now. Um, one of the things I like to allot my money towards is food because, you know, it's like, that's something you do every day. That's something that you enjoy every day. At least I hope you do. Uh, so we buy a lot of, we buy a lot of, of specialty food, some fancy food. Uh, we do buy some, we do buy a lot of the, we do have some staples that are very, very economical though. Um. Speaking of <laughs> the dry beans, it's like people are actually buying lentils. Like people actually know what to do with lentils. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, uh, just every time I go, it's like that reminds me of this one time I was at work and this person asked me like what a lentil was. It's like, just, and it just made me think like, uh, I just, I guess do people, I don't know. It just seems really weird to like, I guess, I don't know, I, I, I need to stop. Um, a lot of, I guess just, I don't know. I need to be better about how I react to food. Because I guess we are kind of, we are food snobs a little bit. Um, I mean, heck, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing a, a daily video series on eating an apple, eating different types of apples along the way, like as many as I can. <laughs> it's like, I mean, we, we, we are, we're food stomps. Uh, reminds me, I need to buy some turmeric. <laughs> um, that's, so we make these, we make some nacho stuff that involves turmeric. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, and there's like pigeon peas. That was another thing that we saw there. It's like pigeon peas. It's like, oh my gosh, pigeon peas are so good. Um, like there's these, there's just random things that people don't buy, and they don't. They're like, oh, this this doesn't work. I'm like, or the lasagna. They're like, oh, this doesn't work. I don't know what to do with this. I'm just, I don't know. It's it's, it's food. It's like, literally. All you gotta do is break up the lasagna into things and make lasagna soup, or you can even just, you can even like, I don't know, whatever food you have, you can like wrap it up in the lasagna, like a little, like a little Italian sushi, I don't know. It's like, the sky's the limit, I mean, you can, you can make origami, you can make little, I mean... If you tried hard enough, you could make origami out of lasagna. I mean, if you didn't have to deal with like the little the little ruffles on it, but <sighs> I don't know. I just hope it doesn't get bad enough to where like a lot of the specialty goods, the ones that I like to, the ones that we like to get, start flying off the shelves. But. I think the price barrier on those kind of will kind of hinder that a little bit. <sighs> uh, peanut butter. Oh my gosh, I didn't get peanut butter puffs while I was out. Uh, it's a first world thing, but um, man, I don't need them. I really don't. Um, gosh, we bought a lot of crap. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. If you're going to be at home, if you're gonna be stuck at home or st stuck not going shopping or stop going what, what you're normally doing, um, it's nice to have. I think, I think you gotta treat yourself to some, treat yourself to some eats. 
whatever eats you can find. Um, and we have a lot of ghost pepper chips right now. Um, we need more peppers. Uh, actually, wait, no. The old man at the... Actually, I'm making something. I want, we have a farmer's market. I, I hope that the old dude who sells the spicy peppers will be there in a couple weeks. I don't even know if they're going to have a farmer's market, to be honest. I really hope that... I really hope they have some type of alternative or, like, they do some type of delay where you can still buy stuff. I don't know. But the peppers that he usually grows won't be in for a while, but I did buy a huge bag of, like, dried... As he calls them, like, the pepper Russian roulette. I'm really hoping that he has that because I... I finally opened my bag that I've had for a couple months and I put them in the blender and ground all them up. Delicious. Like they are, it's just all sorts of peppers. So good. Anyway, wow, I've, I've really just gone on a food, um, uh, food rant. Um, but yeah, um, I got for wanting to help the community to just picking out <laughs> mentally picking out um also um just side note um with some of my remaining birthday money that i had or birthday funds e-shop stuff i wound up getting animal crossing it's been fun i've never I never actually got to play never got to play an animal crossing game until um now, um, I mean, I played, like, the, the one on the mobile, like, the Android device stuff, um, but that's, that's about the extent of my Animal Crossing experience. Uh, we have, we found the one for the Wii U last year, um, had GameStop, the one that had, like, the, um, had, like, Isabel and, I can't, the, 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 the other, there's, like, another dog or something, I think. But it's like a Mario Party style game. But we bought it for like two bucks just because. And it was also like. It's like you can't go wrong with like two like two amiibos. Box and everything. This game for two bucks. And then like five below is selling a bunch of Animal Crossing figurines back in the. Like I think they're still doing that. And we just bought a crap ton of figurines. Um, but yeah. Um. No, no, it's been it's been nice. I really wanted to play the one on the GameCube, but I couldn't afford it at the time, and um, I just I don't think I would have been ready for it. I was in a lot of more actiony stuff, or I kind of like how relaxing it is. It's a very it's just I don't feel like I don't feel like there's any tension when I'm playing. It's just. The only thing I hate, <laughs> one of my biggest com complaints about games like that, give me the option to make text speed just whiz by. I mean, for for someone who just, I don't know, I don't like to, I don't like to spend a time just, I don't like to spend a lot of time just going through just da 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 da. I'm like, I I can read this quickly. I I could just I can look at this in a flash and understand what they're saying. Just go, give it. Just just give me the message. <laughs> Anyway, gosh, it was 24 minutes. This, this might be my longest video. Um, anyway, um, whew, gosh, I've, I've done this for 81 days. Um, hopefully, as this, as this situation progresses, maybe I'll still get to eat apples. Um, I hope. I hope apples are still available. If not, I think if I broke my streak, due to availability of the fruit itself based on I mean based on everything that's going on I won't be too I won't consider that I'll, I'll give myself a street freeze because that's something that's beyond my control but anyway that is 81 days of apples and 285 to go.